guys! I made a large and inexpensive Eiffel Tower wall decor! It is a fun and easy way to have a Valentine's Day decor that can be used all year round. I used items at home that I already have to make this, and it is super easy to make. Now let's go ahead and get started. I used a shower curtain. I got two of these some time ago. I used one for my bathroom and left the other one because I wanted using it for a wall decor. I'm gonna smoothen it all out using an iron with a medium setting. While ironing, I made this line here to be my guide and I'm gonna leave some inches out and cut the part that I won't be needing. I want to make something close to a canvas, so I use trifle boards. Two large trifle boards that will be able to cover the shower curtain. And I place them on the floor, put them together, and I'm gonna hold both of them together using tape. I taped all of the folds and the parts where the boards meet. I turn it to the white side and then place a shower curtain on top of it. I'm going to be gluing the shower curtain together with the trifle board. I turned it over and started gluing both of them together. I already glued the bottom part, so at the top here I'm pulling it before gluing to give me a smooth finish. I then continued with the remaining sides. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here! Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. To keep the edges strong, I got paint stairs from Walmart. I got a lot of them. And then a pack has three stairs inside. And these stairs are made out of wood. So I'm going to be gluing two of the woods together. Until I get enough, that will be okay for the project. You can get a long wood from Home Depot or any home improvement store and just cut them to the length that you need to make it much easier. But I'm working with paint sticks and this is how I arrange them at the back. So now I cut pieces from the shower curtain that I'm going to be using to glue to the back of the board first, like this, before I then put the paint stick on top of it and glue the paint stick to the shower curtain piece and then glue them together. It is much easier to glue the wood to the board first before gluing on the shower curtain on top of it. But I had to do it this way because the paint sticks are not long enough. So if you get a long full-sized wood that has been cut from a home improvement store, you can glue it on to the board first before gluing on the shower curtain on top of it to make it much easier. So basically this step is not going to be needed if you already had a long wood that's been glued to the board and then the shower curtain glued on top of it. So this space that's here, I covered it up. Now this is what the overall board looks like with the paint sticks glued on each side. I'm using a mosaic mirror tiles and cutting them into singular strips. And that's what I'm gonna be using to outline the tower. I outlined the top part because that's part of the tower also. And then at the tip here, I'll be gluing a gem. I glued two more gems here and here. After doing that, I continued outlining the remaining parts of the tower with the mirror strips. Now for the inside, I will be decorating it 
with singular strips that I'm cutting out from a bling wrap. I'll be gluing the long strips inside the tower. I extended the strips right down. Now for this part of the tree that formed a unique shape, I'll be using gems to decorate it. I'll be using smaller size gems for this part here. The spaces you see here are going to be for the lighting. Now I'll be covering up the whole lip design with gems. Doing this was so much fun because the gems were already on a string. So all I did was just to apply glue on the line that I wanted and then place the gems on top of it. It doesn't look perfect because I was following the design that was on the shower curtain. The next thing I did was to make provision for the lighting. And I'm making holes using an X-Acto knife. This is the lighting that I will use and it has 50 bulbs. And I'll be making 50 holes on the board. I turned it to the back and this is what it looks like. Since this is a large wall decor, I added an extra wood at the back. So now I'm going to be putting in the lighting through the board. The lighting is holding up strong enough, but if you like, you can use hot glue to hold them in place. When I was done, this is the length that I was left with, which is not long enough, so I got an extension cord to increase the length. This is what it looks like on the wall and it's really hard to see the bulbs and the hole itself so I'm gonna point it out for you guys to see. There they are. And this is what it looks like with the lights on. The two frame writings by the right is also a DIY. And all I did was to take two picture frames that I got from Walmart and remove the contents that's inside and left the paper because I'll be using the back of the paper. I got the sticker from the Dollar Tree and I'll be removing the sticker and attaching it on top of the white surface and then putting the paper back inside the frame. I repeated the same thing for the other frame and mounted both of them on the wall. I wanted trying out more lighting options, so I got this meteor light, and the link is gonna be in the description box below, so I just hanged it in front to see what it was gonna look like. And because the lighting that I had before was not much, I added more lighting. There are other shower curtains with large Eiffel Tower designs in front, and I'm going to be leaving the link for four different shower curtains with Eiffel Tower drawings, including the shower curtain design that I used for mine in the description box below. This is a fun and easy way to have a Valentine's Day decor that can be used all year round. And this can also be used as an extra source of lighting. I 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and remember to like and share it with your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.